like Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center set up the first flu shot clinic of the season yesterday at Club Mead. Garrison Command Sergeant Major Brian Cullen was among the first to get one. Details on when you can get yours in a moment. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, annual Butterfly release in honor of Gold Star Mothers. There's a new bus service and a couple of reminders from MWR. These stories and more, but first, the 780th Military Intelligence Brigade and the Fort Meade Equal Opportunity Office hosted this year's Hispanic Heritage Month observance earlier this week at Club Meade. Mariachi Los Mensajeros del Sur provided musical entertainment for the observance. The highlight of the celebration was the presentation of the Congressional Gold Medal to retired Chief Petty Officer Ismael Torres. The 86-year-old Torres enlisted in the Army in 1950, serving in Korea with the 65th Infantry Regiment, the Boren Quineers. In 2014, President Obama signed the law awarding the Congressional Gold Medal to members of the 65th. Sam Rodriguez from the Boren Quineers Congressional Gold Medal Ceremony National Committee helped design the medal. All the accolades you read about it is so true, and you, I, I interview a lot of the Guineers, so that's why I wanted a, a medal that had men with fixed bayonet, fixed bayonets to to represent the the, the battle, the courage that these. Puerto Ricans, uh, these Hispanics, these Americans. For Torres, he simply stated the award wasn't about him. This is not about me. This is about the 65th Infantry, infantry combat people that from uh, World War I, including two of my uncles, World War II, two brothers and five first cousins, and Korea War. Myself, my brother, one brother, and five first cousins too. Elsewhere, Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center gave out the first flu shots of the season at Club Mead this week. You can get yours at Kimbrough starting October 15th through November 2nd from 8 to 3.30. They're also holding a shot clinic at the main exchange November 4th through the 9th. A reminder, members of the Johns Hopkins U.S. Family Health Plans are not eligible for the shots on post. Elsewhere on Saturday, ACS Survivor Outreach Services hosted their fourth annual butterfly release in honor of Gold Star mothers and families. Burba Lake was the scene as more than 100 community members came to show their support. Mrs. Janice Chance, the president of Gold Star Mothers Maryland chapter, shared what the butterfly release means to her. I attended a ribbon cutting ceremony for uh, Help Veterans Village at Prairie Point uh, last month. And while I was at the reception, a butterfly came and landed on my arm and then it worked its way up to my chest and the butterfly remained there the entire time i was at the reception it did not move and to me the butterfly symbolizes new beginnings if you think about a caterpillar where it starts off and then it is a metamorphosis takes place and becomes a beautiful butterfly and that's the when they go through this boot camp and all these things and they emerge as leaders and and uh warriors who make a difference. And so our children make a difference. And so I was blessed and I said, I have to bring that picture. So there's a picture over there of the butterfly. First they throw the butterfly pin, but they start moving away. They said, that's a real butterfly and it stayed with me. And it would remember, remind to me when they, uh, the, those homes that was there, it was for homeless and those at risk for homelessness. And it meant new beginnings. Turning to transportation, the Maryland Regional Transit Authority, or RTA, started a new bus service linking the Savage Mark Station and Piney Orchard with several stops at Fort Meade in between. There are four buses on the route, with one making stops on Fort Meade. Stops on the installation include the Defense Information Systems Agency, Candlewood Suites, the Post Theater, Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center, and the intersection of Ernie Pyle and 10th. Up until October 14th, there's no charge to try the service. For more information, go to www.transitrta.com. Meanwhile, a quick final note from MWR, Gaffney Fitness Center is in need of lifeguards. There are flexible, part-time, and full-time positions available. For more information, call 301-677-5822 or go to www.me.armymwr.com. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great midweek.